everyone, welcome to Bite Me with Nicole. And today we have an Asian mushroom recipe for you. We are going to be doing our uh, enoki mushrooms or needle mushrooms in a lovely sesame and ginger dressing. And it is delicious and so beautiful on the palate. So guys, let's get started. And what I have over here is 150 grams of my enoki mushrooms. I've washed them, I've drained them, I have dried them and I have trimmed the bottom bits off. Okay? And what I've done most importantly is made little tiny bundles by breaking them apart which people are going to be able to pick up with their chopsticks and eat. So see, this is what you want to do. You just want to take them apart slowly. And now in a vessel I have hot boiling water because we are going to blanch our enoki mushrooms. Now you can eat the enoki mushrooms raw but I just like the texture that they get when they are blanched just for like a minute at most. Alright? Like I said, you can eat them raw if you want to make like a salad with a hot dressing. This works really well as well. Okay, so I'm just going to do this in batches now. Okay, that's it. That wasn't even like a minute. That's all I'm going to do. Because I don't want them to get super chewy either. Although they do have the most interesting texture. Okay, I'm just going to do the second batch now. And as you can see, I'm blanching it. So I'm putting it in cold water straight away to stop the cooking. Once you finish blanching them, do drain them like this quickly. Because you want to get as much liquid out, alright? And then what I do is just put them on some kitchen paper and let them drain a little bit more. For about 5 to 8 minutes at a minimum. So while your enoki mushrooms are draining happily on the kitchen towel over here, you're going to start making your hot sesame ginger dressing, alright? Now you definitely need sesame oil for this because otherwise you're not going to get that lovely nuttiness and that wonderful sesame flavor flavoring all of the mushrooms. So this is just 1 8th cup of sesame oil. I'm going to start heating it. Now as soon as you put your oil on, you're going to get your ginger and this is about a tablespoon of sliver julienne ginger, okay? And it's lovely fresh ginger and it smells so good. So just going to add that in. At no point do you want anything to start frying really. You just want it to heat gradually. You want your oil to heat super gradually, alright? Now to that I'm going to add about 1 teaspoon of chopped garlic. If you don't like garlic and you want just the ginger to sink through, you can add just the ginger and a tiny bit of garlic. Maybe half a teaspoon. Okay. Put that in, you don't want your garlic to colour either. You just want it to cook through but not turn super brown and crunchy. Next, you're going to get about the white part of say one spring onion. So this would be around a tablespoon of spring onion. Try and get a lot of the white inside. Put that in. Next, we're going to start adding our seasoning. The oil will start foaming just a little bit, don't worry. Make sure your temperature and the flame is low. It smells so nice. Now over here, I have three and a half tablespoons of light soy sauce. And in that goes. This is not a super salty soy sauce, alright? You want to be able to manage your salt as well. And next, after your soy sauce, for some extra lovely flavor, we have oyster sauce. And this is about half a tablespoon. Next, I have one teaspoon of rice vinegar. If you don't want a sharp note to the dish, don't put the vinegar, but the vinegar really helps in lifting the richness of the oyster sauce and the soy sauce. So that's why I like it and it smells so good when it comes to the table. You instantly get hungry and you start salivating. It's brilliant. So you wait for it all to heat up slightly. Like I said, make sure nothing starts to colour. And also finally, I have one fourth teaspoon of some white sugar. Now you just stir it. Just arrange your mushrooms in one direction, in like a little tiny pyramid if you will. So in a couple of minutes, your sauce is done, your dressing is done, your lovely sesame ginger dressing. And now you're just gonna start spooning it all over. Start with the ginger and the garlic, look at that. And then you just pour quickly. You want it to fall onto the mushrooms while, it, while it's hot because that way the mushrooms will absorb it all. Okay, look at that perfect little pool of flavor. Next, you're going to get some sesame seeds which have been toasted. And obviously, some lovely scallions for color. If you have any of the dressing left, you can just serve it on the side with white rice or other Asian dishes and people will be so happy and proud to eat this. Look at this, it's beautiful. The best thing about these mushrooms is the texture, like I said. 
The blanching gives it such a delicious texture. It's a slightly messy dish. You are going to drop a little bit when you're eating, but it's so well worth the mess. Guys, try this out. Add it to like your Saturday night stir fries, and it's so quick to make and it's so delicious to eat. It hardly takes any ingredients at all to achieve something absolutely fantastic.